As a patchworker, I'm always inspired by my fabric. That's where I start. And here, Jane, you're going to show me how I can be inspired by the fabric mm -hmm. to create my own stitches. Yes, you can. Just taking inspiration from the different fabrics. In this case, it's a little acorn which has been created. I love this. Yeah, there's a little little diagram, a little sprint out of it here. So that's it just stitched out okay. as is. And that's the actual sheet that would print off. Um, we will look at it later on the laptop and I'll show you one finish. Okay. Uh, so, so this comes with my machine. What it, section is this in? It comes in. You'll have a DVD with stitch composer oh, on it I, in your box. Oh, have a look. Have a look. I'm okay. sure it's in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and get it out and have a play with it because okay. it's a really great way of adding even more of a personalised touch to your work so. because okay. that's a really yeah. lovely one with the acorns. Yeah. You can actually, with the software as well, you can fade the pattern or the inspiration onto the back and draw around it almost with stitches. So okay. there's lots of ways. All right. It's one of those that's worth playing with. Okay. Um, so I won't pop that did, one away. Did, did, did we want to have a look at this one? This yes. Is, um, also, actually, my favourite colour is blue and white. I think these yeah. are lovely. But we've got look, motifs here. And did you yeah. say that they've been very they obvious? They have. Yeah. This I can see coming from here. Comes from the border. But you see, the little fruit people have been taken from the fabric. Oh, look how see, cute little they ones. Are. And, and digitised on the software yes. so that you can then stitch them out onto the bag. Oh, aren't they lovely? Okay. So there are lots and lots right. of ways. And, called, and this is called a stitch, stitch composer. composer. So I've got another one here with a little owl on it. Yeah. Which okay. is great. So there's a little owl. And the one we're going to look at today, I've already digitised uh, digitized this on the software and put it onto the machine, is a bow pattern, which is oh, that that's one. nice. It's a little bow. So we'll look at that in a little while, but I've got it on the machine already. But it stitches out like that and it's really quite a, it's a nice one to start with because it's quite straightforward to do initially but i've already got it on the machine so what we need to do is let me get my little stylus out on the machine if we go into decorative stitches mm -hmm. um, and then we should be able to go into i'll go on to here decorative created stitches here once you've formatted your memory stick to the machine put it in once then it will pick this up automatically for you so i've got created stitches here and you can see i've got my little bow there mm -hmm. now so I can just pop that down and do my little stop start. And off we go. And that will show the little bow pattern. And it's just a really nice one to start with. And once they, once you put them on the machine, once they are saved on there, so you can build them. You've always got them. You can build yeah. up a whole extra stitch library almost if you want to. Absolutely. Different things. And it's just really straightforward one to do. Pop the lock stitch, so we'll stop. And that's always going to be on the machine for me. So you can incorporate it in your everyday sewing. So there's a little bow there. Exactly the same. That's so lovely. that's such a straightforward one to do. Yes. So software's in your box. Okay. Pop it on the laptop and have a little play with it. There's that, there's that word again. Go home play. and play. I think I really must. <laughs> 